Today we're comparing two of the most popular printers on the market, the Ender 3 versus the A1 Mini. Let's talk about the differences in what might be a better printer for you. Choosing the right 3D printer can be a daunting task, especially with so many options available. Two popular choices among enthusiasts are the Ender 3 and the Bamboo A1 Mini. And in today's video, we're going to compare both of these printers and what's the differences. First, let's talk about the learning curve. One of the most significant differences between the Ender 3 and the Bamboo A1 Mini is the learning curve associated with each printer. A lot of users have noted that the Ender 3 often requires more hands-on troubleshooting and modifications. A lot of people say, you'll learn more with an Ender 3, and a lot of people translate that as, you're going to spend more time troubleshooting than printing. But as the the Ender 3s have gotten better, there's a lot less troubleshooting, guys. And in contrast, the Bamboo A1 Mini is often described as a plug-and-play printer, which is ideal for those who want to start printing with minimal fuss. So if you're looking for a more straightforward, out-of-the-box experience, the A1 Mini might be a better choice. And I can hear the Ender 3 guys in the comments, hey, you shouldn't be saying that. The new Enders are super good. Yeah, they are very good. So if you're really set on an Ender 3, get the highest version you can afford because that's going to result in less tinkering and messing around with the printer. Next, I want to talk about printing experience and reliability. So let's talk about a couple of the different Ender 3 versions, particularly version 3. This model has garnered a reputation for being a solid and reliable machine. A lot of people are saying version 3 works exactly like the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. That being said, the V3 lacks the ability to print multiple colors like the Bamboo A1 can. So if you're looking to print multiple colors, again, the A1 Mini is going to be a better choice for you. And on the other hand, the Bamboo A1 Mini has received high praise for its reliability and print quality. People explain it as a silent operation, fast printing speeds, and just excellent print quality. You hear it over and over and over. I've had zero issues. I'm new to 3D printing and the A1 Mini it is just the perfect setup. The two biggest differences with these two printers is the build volume and pricing. Let's dissect this a bit. Ender 3 offers a larger build volume compared to the A1 Mini, which could be a deciding factor depending on the size of objects you plan to 3D print. However, for many users, the build volume on the A1 Mini is sufficient. A lot of people comment that they they don't feel the need for a bigger build volume, especially beginners, because a lot of the stuff that we're 3D printing is kind of smaller and it's just like you play with it in your hands, it's just models, fidget toys, it's figurines, collectibles, etc. But if you're looking to print like helmets or bigger things like that, you should probably look into a different printer, maybe the Bamboo X1C or the K1 Max. Now let's talk about the pricing of the Ender 3 versus the A1 Mini. Price-wise, the Bamboo A1 Mini is often seen as offering better value value for its features. The A1 Mini is a little bit more money. You know, the prices fluctuate, but it is maybe like another hundred bucks or something like that. And it depends on what Ender 3 you get too. Next, let's talk about upgrading potential and tinkering. For those who enjoy tinkering and upgrading their 3D printers, the Ender 3 offers a lot of potential. Many users have modified their Ender 3s extensively, learning about the intricacies of 3D printing and the process. If you're into tinkering, you can learn a lot. Why is the extrusion bad? How to level manually? How to fix issues or modify the printer to your needs? On the other hand, the Bamboo A1 Mini is designed for more users who prefer a hassle-free experience or just for people that just want to strictly 3D print stuff and enjoy it. It doesn't require the same level of tinkering to achieve good results, making it a great option for beginners. So to break this down, the Ender 3 is ideal for those who enjoy tinkering, upgrading, and learning about the mechanics of 3D printing and looking to maybe spend a little bit less and utilize that bigger build volume. Whereas the Bamboo A1 Mini is perfect for users who want a hassle-free, reliable printing experience with minimal troubleshooting. And let's not forget the multicolor printing because that's pretty cool. By the way, one big feedback a lot of people say about multicolor printing is that it's a waste of filament. And I will say it does, it, it truly does waste a lot of filament, but the bamboo printers offer extensive, excellent print quality, speed, and ease of use. Guys, hit me up in the comments if you have any other questions. I'm a normal dude and will reply. Please like the video and consider subscribing. The print has finally finished. And I gotta say, it looks pretty dang good. Let's take it off the plate here. All right. Man, this thing's cool, right guys? Look at this thing. Let's go test it out. This thing is beastly. All right, which star do you want? Um, Big one or small one? Small. Small one? All right, let's battle. 
<laughs> oh no, it broke. We'll have to put it back together. <laughs> How did that break? Oh. You win.